How's it going guys? Welcome back to another tutorial. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how to save data when moving between two scenes. So in one of my previous videos, I created a slider tutorial on how to adjust any audio source volume using a slider. The only issue with that tutorial was that when we moved to the second scene, that slider value was actually lost. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to save that value in memory so that when we move to the second scene, we can actually fetch that value and update the audio source volume as well as the slider value. So to show you how that works, if I click run here, my music is playing, I can then adjust the volume, I can go to scene two, and you can see our slider value wasn't lost. The only issue is that the music was reset. So I'll actually be doing a part two of this video where we can actually allow the music to continue playing between scene one and scene two, instead of resetting in scene two. Um, there's also this reset button here. So if I click that, it'll just reset the value to the default value. Cool, that's it guys, let's get into it. All right, so to show you what I've done with the scene, all I've done here is I've added a button that basically moves the player from scene one into scene two. Um, there's actually no logic that we're going to be talking about in this script. I can show you it here. It's literally just um, scmanager.load scene scene 2. So it's got nothing to do with what I'll be talking about in this video. Um, most of the code that we're going to be doing is actually in the music play uh, script that we created previously for the slider. So if I just open that up. So once you've opened up the music play script, we're actually going to be adding the logic to save this music volume um, value in memory using player prefs. So to explain what player prefs are, there's three types of player prefs. You've got your, that you can set, you can, you've got for integers, strings, and for float values. Obviously float values are like decimal values, integers are 0, 1, 2, 3, and strings are obviously like, for example, your, your name or your, your password or your surname or something like that. Um, so in this case, we're going to be using um, uh, float because the volume can be in a decibel format. Um, so to start it off, what we're going to be needing to do is just define um, a public slider for um, the volume. What we're also going to have to be using is using the Unity engine. Dot you are just so that this works cool so now this is going to um, in our script now we can actually say what our slider is this is so that we can set the slider value um, cool then on the update what we want to say is player preps dot set float you can see there that there was the three different options for int float and string but for this case we can say float um, we then have to give it a name so you can have multiple player prefs, but for this one, we're just going to say a volume and then music volume. So what this is going to do, this is going to save the music volume, whatever it's at, inside this uh, the volume variable in memory so that we can use it when we move to our next scene. So on our second scene, I've got this exact same script set up. Um, the same script is being used in the slider, just like how a main menu would work. So when on the private void start, basically when we start the scene, uh, we want to be setting the the slider value to whatever whatever this volume value is holding. So to do that, what we want to do is just for this music volume, you say player prefs dot get float volume as simple as that so we're going to get this volume value and we're going to set it in this music value uh, music volume which is what we've defined here we then want to set the audio source volume to equal music volume and the volume slider by value to equal the music volume. 
cool. That's it for saving the data in memory. And then basically this will set the, the, the volume of the audio source and then the slider value. Um, so if we go back to Unity, if we go to our music control, you can see there's this variable that's re it's re being required. So we just drag our slider into there. Cool. So if we run this, it should be working. Music playing, you can adjust it, you then go to scene two. You can see the value stayed the same. Um, I can show you in the scene in scene two here. Let's say that. It's we also using this music con uh, music control. It's it's basically scene two is basically a replica of scene one. Just how you would replicate your your menu for each of the scenes. And you're not gonna be changing your menu around. Um so yeah, that's pretty straightforward. So the next thing you want to do is just for this reset button, you want to be adding that to basically reset it. Oh, wrong script. So we're going to find a new function. So let's call it public void music reset. And then what we're going to say is player prefs dot delete key and then volume. Oops, need to put it in brackets. In comments, sorry, but double quotes. Uh, then audio source dot volume equal to one. Volume slider dot value equal to one. Cool, so that should work. Uh, if we just go back to Unity on our second scene here, uh, just open up the button. Ah, you can see it's already set. So basically what you want to do, you want to just get rid of this. So you want to just click this plus sign, just drag the music control. That's where that new functions exist. That function exists. Just drag it into here, go music play, and you will see here music resets. So if I run this, you can see the, because it's stored in memory, it will just basically reset it again. If we then click reset, set it back to normal. Cool, so that's it for this video guys, hope you like it. I will be making a second part to this video where we carry on the music between the two scenes. Um, but yeah, I'll be doing that later on. Um, if you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Cheers.